Today I will talk to you about basic derivatives. What is basic derivative? It will be useful in many cases like your elementary studies, in your economics of the first years, uh, papers, and it is also useful in some of the competitive examinations as well. So because most of the time we forget, so I will try to focus on this derivative section today. So first, linear derivatives. For example, y equal to 2 x plus 19. 4 is a simple linear function. Here I'm not going to teach you about the expression, the process, or something like that. Here the simple structure is on putting the derivative. So simply it is dy dx, we know this 2, this x is 1. So and any constant alone gets you 0. But in the next case, if I give a derivative only 94 x will be 0 because I set the constant but this time the constant is not alone so here dy dx will lead you to only 94 and this will become any power with respect to 1 will get you to 1 ok after derivative next is a nonlinear y equal to x square plus 94 so again dy dx so this 2 will come down and this power will be reduced by 1 power will come down and the upper power will be reduced by 1 and this part will be 0. So answer is simply 2x. This is the first order of derivative. There is a second order also. Second order means no new formula for this. You again just have to differentiate. That's it. Which again just differentiate this thing. So in generally we write it like this d2y dx2. We have 2 and here is the 2. Don't take it as a square and this will be 2 again x derivative I said anything 1 so 2 into 1 so the answer is 2. So this is all about the basic linear derivative and now I mean the relatively different kind of a function for example larger derivatives. In a larger derivative for example y equal to x square plus e to the power x plus log x plus 74. What happens in this? and maybe 7 to the power x. In this, I will tell you about the, all the different types of derivative. So first dy dx as I already told you in the previous time, so this will be 2x. The 2 will come down. e to the power x doesn't have any kind of derivative structure. So it will whatever is like this. But if y equal to e to the power 3x given, then derivative will be, as I said, y to the power 3x. But this 3x will be again differentiated separately. You do it in your brain, you don't have to show that. So 3x, what is 3x derivative? 3 gives you 3 and this x becomes 1. So this 3 will come down. It's not this 3, this entire 3x is differentiated. So you can ask me what happens y equal to e to the power 3x square. This is also simple. dy dx is just this thing, e to the power 3x square and then the derivative of this which is nothing but 6x. Because 3, this 2x is coming down, same process. So now I have given you the sub part of this, now I am going to the third part that is log x. Log x has a differentiation formula that is 1 by x. So now again the extra parts, what happens if log of at the place of x, it is x square plus 4, then what to do so? It is very easy, again so dy dx. So 1 by x square plus 4 it will happen, it will happen 1 by x square plus 4 means whatever is with log it comes down just like the e to the power x format and then you differentiate the inner portion as 2x and this will be 0 simply is 2x by x square plus 4. Now coming to 74 it will be 0 and 7 to the power x is 7 to the power x into log 7, 7 to the power x into log 7. Why this into is happening? Because it is a normal function, it is a constant to the power variable, this is the rule. And anything like 7 to the power x plus y, this will be followed. So this is about the basic derivative. In case you have forgotten the basics, you can apply this stuff. Thank you.